Preston Physics Grade 11 Electricity and Magnetism Note 8 Intro to Magnets When we first look at magnets, they're very similar to electric fields and electricity properties. We have opposite poles attract, so a north and a south pole will attract each other. We have similar poles repel, so a north and a north pole would then repel each other. We also have a lot of the same connections when we're drawing magnetic field lines. A lot of the things that we applied with electric fields are going to again apply here when we're drawing magnetic fields. So the first thing, when we're drawing magnetic fields, magnetic fields come out of the north end of the magnet and go into the south end of the magnet. This is different because we go from positive to negative with electricity, but if you think of the north as being positive and the south as being negative, you can kind of compare the two. More lines mean a stronger field is the next thing that we're going to look at. So when we have more field lines, we have a stronger field. This is again similar to electric fields. If we remember electric fields, we have more field lines, we have a stronger field. Again, these two things are very, very similar to each other. And the last rule we're going to look at is, again, that field lines can never cross. We can never have field lines crossing each other. And this is the same as when we look at an electric field. So really, you just have to remember that the field lines here go from north to south. And other than that, they behave very similarly to an electric field line. The next thing we're going to look at is called domain theory. Now this has a little bit of chemistry in it, but what it's saying is that atoms are kind of like small magnets called dipoles. And a group of dipoles is a domain. So that's where we get the domain theory from. Now a regular metal or a non-magnetized metal has random alignment of all of its domains. So all of its atoms have a random alignment kind of like the diagram shown below. Now if we change this and we look at a magnet, Magnets have a net alignment. They have a north and a south. All of the field lines or all of the lines in each atom are going to align with each other. They're all going to go from the south to the north with their arrows, kind of like this. After you finish with this diagram, read through the next three topics on magnets. We'll then look at breaking a bar magnet apart. When we break a magnet apart, we have some steps that we look at or some things that we look at that are similar with each magnet that we break apart. First, we have this first magnet that's got some field lines going from north to south like any other magnet. This is called the mother magnet. We break it apart and we create two daughter magnets. Obviously these magnets have to be smaller. They're going to also have a north and a south just like the mother magnet and they're going to be on the same sides that the mother magnet had. So the field lines will look very similar if we were to break it apart and just move it down kind of like we have. Now each of the daughter magnets are obviously smaller. And they're also less strong than the mother magnet. The mother magnet has a stronger magnetic field than each of those daughter magnets would. The question associated with this note is number 16 from your yellow duotangs.